Flat out switched out. Shalom, Shalom, call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. The name is only begotten Son, and in the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, the Twilight of Truth and Truth and Sincerity. Peace and salutation to the hopeful that scattered abroad. Now, real quick, I want to uh, do a video, a quick, you know, land back off of this video. Fair use, fair use. This is from the channel Prepper Now. It says, our decline is moving faster. And he makes some great points about what's going on in America right now, which is all Bible prophecy. So let's just go into it. And I pray the edify to for elect. For central bank digital currencies that are controlled through the state. One group uh, thinks that Bitcoin is going to be a savior. Is a group called MicroStrategy. They just went out and... Um, they have a balance sheet right now that is $4.1 billion in cryptocurrency, and they just bought a bunch of them at $27,000 per Bitcoin. Now, the current price of a Bitcoin is about $28,000 and change. They bought um, 5,445 Bitcoin. So it was about 100, almost 150 million. Now, he's talking about different groups that know that, you know, different people that, you know, you know people that, People know that the collapse is coming, so they're buying like you know Bitcoin and these different cryptocurrencies because they know that um, I mean the American dollar is about to fail. Okay, it's about to crash, and um, this is Bible prophecy as well. Which uh, this being Bible prophecy, this is um, um, all going to lead up to you know which they whether they know it or not. This is all going to lead up to that to that MOTB. All right, which I'll open up with that. Be going into this, this the, the economics, okay, of this place. Um, it's it's gonna lead up to the MLTB, and the, and uh, really they know it, and but at the same time, some some of them don't know it or they don't really believe it. But but this is why the prophets were important. Revelation chapter thirteen, verse um, I started at verse thirteen. It says, and he did great wonders, so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, which Esau has had the power. He's been you know put in that seat of power to do these things in the earth which when Hiroshima and Nagasaki he called he made fire come down from heaven and put the whole whole world in fear not everybody you know for the longest time has been under the, the you know the rule of the uh, 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 of the United Nations okay which is a part of that beast system all right and America is really the secret leader of the uh, of the United Nations man okay that country is leading our nations and we don't have a seat at that table all right, but it says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which they have power to do in the sight of the beast. Right, and this is what they're going to do with that karagma. It's going to come with different miracles. It says, saying to them that dwell on the earth, they that they should make an image to the beast, the new world order, which did live by a wound and did live, which, you know, talk going into the Roman Empire that fell. You know, it, it was once, you know, striving, you know. And ruling, but then it fell, and now the Roman Empire has been revitalized through EU, the EU and NATO. Okay, and you know America spe spearheading this beast. All right. So it says, and this is why, because they're purposely crashing America. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And they not, you know, that that may be, you know, uh, um, covert or you know, however, you know, but they're going to say, if you don't have this technology, you're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to buy or sell, you know, you know, you, you are not going to get any, any type of assistance. You won't be able to rent a house, drive a car, any of that. Okay. So that's what it all leads up to being Bitcoin. It's not going to be able to help you. Okay. They're talking about going digital. They're talking about they're going to shut all these banks down. And when they open back up, everything is going to be digital. Cash is going to have no value. It'll tell you to turn, turn your cash to get some credits. It says, um, Verse 16, because they want to put everything on the blockchain and track everything. So ain't going to be no more side jobs, no more selling drugs. All that shit is going to be done. You know, if you, if you ain't getting taxed, if, you, if you can, they can't tax you on it, it ain't happening. It says, um, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-A-R-K, a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. 
okay, which is the MOTB that that that, that um you know C hip put inside your um your body under your skin. And Elon Musk just came out saying he's taking recruitments for the brain carotid, okay, where they want to put it in your forehead. So prophecy is being fulfilled for our eyes. It says in that no man might buy or sell save he that had the M M A R K. And the name of the beast and the number of his names. You're not going to be able to buy and sell with Bitcoin pretty soon. Or cash. Or anything. In dollars in, in cash. And the reason why is because they are taking their money and they see cash as trash. A lot of people, you know, I'm sure are buying precious metals because they see cash as trash. Cash is not going to hold on to its value the way that it used to. The reason why is because they're inflating our way out of all this. And the crisis is hitting in other ways, too. It's not just uh, through our money and through our, our fiat currency. In San Francisco alone, this is a recent story that went through all of the different uh, mortgages of large businesses, large retail spaces in downtown California, some of the most expensive real estate in the world. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a, a little foray into that right now. We got this real quick. Revelation 3, verse 10. It says, And because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right? So the hour of temptation is coming where everybody's going to be tried, and they're going to try to get you to you know, bow down to the system. And it, everybody's about to come into a, uh, tr trying times, and the Lord's going to see if you if, if you're really for him or not. All right? Here. And he said, among them in 650 California Street, 34-story office building that has defaulted on its mortgage. So, 650 uh, California Street is a 34-story office, and they defaulted on their mortgage. Mm. Another one, 101 California. Their biggest tenant left, and now uh, they're, they're slashing the prices of all of the office space. Mm. You go and uh, around into the area is uh, Embarcadero Square. That is for sale for ninety million dollars. It was bought for two hundred forty-five million in two thousand eighteen. So from two thousand eighteen to two, to today, it's gone from two hundred forty-five million to ninety million because they can't take any, they can't find any buyers. Mm -hmm. So the city's largest mall. They uh, have stopped payments on their loans because they don't have the money. It's in California. And retailer Nordstrom closed its five-story flagship store there. So you see, you know, these stores, you know, whether you realize it or not, they're all they're all shutting down. You know, and it's, it really after, after the pandemic that really took a toll on this place. That and now they're trying to do it again. P people are going to lose their shit, and they're hoping you do so they can bring out them damn troops and. You know, mow you down in the streets. <laughs> so this, the, the next, you know, year or so is going to be very, very interesting, man, to say the least. All right. But now they're getting all these, you know, uh, private businesses out and putting these um, corporation businesses where they want to tell you, hey, if you want anything out of this store, you want to even walk inside this store, you better have that chip. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3. And in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, which the economists, they're trembling right now. OK, they're the ones trying to keep this place afloat. They're the ones trying to, you know, make the right deals. And, you know, they're talking about a government collapse. Um, you're talking about you know, it's like they're talking about another government shutdown, man. You know, which means no, 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 no government workers going to get paid. You know, it means it means a lot of things. All right. We're talking about a government shutdown. And uh, they're saying how, you know, when it, when it happens, you know, there's no more WIC. There's more there, there's no more go go government assistance. You know, so people be pretty much be, um, you know, left out there, you know, for the most part. And that's mostly you, you uh, Jake's, too, you know. So, he, so they saying that kids are going to starve. <laughs> Babies are going to starve because they have no, no, no milk, I mean, no wick. And the parents are not going to be able to get them food. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders the grinders cease because there are a few, so these businesses are shutting down. Okay, hey, at my job, bro, at my job for the past fucking, um, what, maybe three weeks to a month, you know, the, 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 the uh, and, I, and, and I work in a big warehouse, man, 
you know, but the lights just been going out, man. You know, the whole, the whole thing. And when the lights go out, nobody can work because it's a, a bunch of power tools and stuff. You know, but the lights be going out. <laughs> the lights just been going out, man. And, we, and it happened today. You know, it happened today. You know, it happened. Uh, but it's getting more and more frequent, too, now, man. You know, before it was like once or twice every, you know, month or two. But now it's like, you know, once or twice. Well, at first, did, uh, or, or, or then it was like once or twice a week. But now it's like once or twice a day, <laughs> man. So I, I tell I tell my people that work with us, hey, man, you know, the Jake's that, that I know at the job, say, hey, man, one, one day, you know, the mice ain't going to turn back on, man. You know, they about to shut this motherfucker down. They're going to lay everybody off. Okay. Watch. <laughs> Not just my job, but your job, too. It says, and the grinders cease because there are few. And those that look out the windows be darkened because the future of America is looking very bleak. So people that's looking out the window, they're like, damn, man, I don't know what the future going to hold, man. You know, you got people that's living on the streets right now. And then in that, people are getting more and more, you know, um, um, agitated and stuff, and violence is increasing. So if you don't live in a, a, a good neighborhood, you know, then you, you, you're more than likely going to face some, some bullshit, you know, some some, 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 some crime, okay? Motherfuckers uh, upset. I remember um, I was at, you know, my mom's house, and she recently moved, but the area she lived in before was not too great, so... You know, my 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 sister's husband, he was there or whatever, and he parked his truck down the road a little ways from the house, and then he was in the house for a little bit, Kevin, we went right back outside, and somebody had stumped his damn windshield in, man. Somebody has just stumped his windshield in, his windshield in, didn't steal nothing, didn't take nothing, but they just stumped his windshield in. Why? That motherfucker must have been having a bad day when he just jumped up on a random car and stumped the, wheel, the, the uh, windshield in and then, you know, went about his day, you know? Cause, Cause, the Jake that he did it to, he ain't, you know, he ain't out there, he ain't in the streets or nothing, you know. He just, you know, he worked, you know. He don't even live in the area, <laughs> but they, they just found a random car and stumped their shit in. Cause people are on edge right now, man. So, pretty soon, before it's gonna go, 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 go be stumping random heads and not just windshields. All right. It says, and the doors shall be shut. It's like you. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. The sound of jobs and working is low, man. And it's spiritual because at my job, bro, is, and some of y'all know from my videos, you may you know, hear me going back into the job at the you know, break, going back into the plantation, and you hear how loud it is. When them lights go out, the grinding is low, okay? It is fucking dead silent in the big-ass plant, you know, a big old plant and a big old warehouse. Can you imagine? It's just dead silent, you know, not dead silent, obviously. You know, you still have shit, you know, people chattering, but it's like, it's very loud in there, you know, it's just, you just, cut from all the machines, it's very loud, so when the lights go out, it, it just gets dead, 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 dead quiet, the, the fans don't blow, you get that stale air, you know, that's what's coming to America, bro, this shit about to be unreal, worse than a third world country, it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music to be brought low. You see how this ridiculous this music is now, and these artists, you know. So that that, that that's what the one thing that people, people that people could turn to in a time of, you know, uh, recession, it was music, you know. And even that's fucking messed up. So and it's putting out about wicked vibrations. So people finna start going crazy. It says when also when they shall be afraid of that which is high. The fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Anybody going to want to, you know, go out, <laughs> do anything? You know, people are just going to have no hope for, for the future, and that's what's going to cause more crime and violence, okay? The robberies and grapes. It says, um, and desire shall fail because men go with his long home and the mourners go about the streets so everybody gonna be feeling it man all right commercial mortgage-backed securities are going to be what mortgage-backed securities were in 2008 brick and mortar is dead and a lot of these real estate people are having financial problems as well also um evergrand which is the chinese real estate house 
they just arrested a lot of the upper management there because they're not making their payments as well. This guy got so in tan one of the brothers in the camp just put me onto this guy's videos, man. And I, you know, I'm, I haven't seen all of them, but I watched the past few for the past couple of days, and they're pretty good. So you know, it's a good, it's definitely a good watch. This video in particular, our decline is moving faster. Okay, and uh, yeah, man, and, and and the spirit came upon me to do a video of him because some of the things he's gonna say in this video. It's going to, you know, re re really tie into the scripture, so I'm going to add a little scripture context to it. And I'll pray it'll be not too long. I'll try not to make these videos too long. Shalom. As all of our issues are going on, all the issues are going on across the world as well. And China is one of the major players for that. Right. So it's happening in China too. So what are people doing in California? Well, they're, they're revolting. I mean, there's, there's a Oakland group of retailers or, or business owners that are getting together to picket and strike essentially the state of California. Mm -hmm. And because that the state of Cal or the uh, city of Oakland has a crime problem, 10,547 vehicles were reported stolen since January to, to last week. Cars are about the same pace getting broken into. And then, of course, they take these vehicles, and if they haven't broken into them, they steal them and they take them down south, or they put them on boats and they put them, take them over to Asia. Mm. So, you know, Oakland's got 444, uh, yeah, 440,000 people, according to 2020. So businesses are getting ready to strike. Well, the people in these businesses are taxed to death, all of the different regulations and everything, and the Rona coming and going, and... Uh, one guy who owns a place called Marzano Restaurant said he was hit by burglars for the third time this year. See what happens, folks, when when money gets hit by the burglars for third time this year. Out of control and or uh, you know gets gets inflated too much, priced out. You don't have the money that you used to. You're losing your job. People resort to things like crime. Right. So all the businesses in Oakland are failing to the point where they're starting to strike. Now, what is all that's going on? The government went $33 trillion in debt last week. Mm. It just crossed $33.1 trillion. You heard that? So that's the last grab it. It says, Scripture, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what the Lord will say unto me, and what shall I answer when I am approved? And the Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That he may run that read it. So the vision is plain, man. It says, For the vision is for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. So now we're seeing the vision that was, you know, spoken of before time being played right before our eyes, and this is getting clearer and clearer. We're starting to see it, man. It will seem like it's taking a while, and he's going to say something like that. You know, it seems, you know, um, like it takes a while and all at once. All right. Uh, let me uh, grab this in the NLT. It says, I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. There I will wait to see what the Lord says and and how he will answer my complaint. Then the Lord said unto me, write my answer plainly on tables so that he, that a runner can carry the correct message to others. Right. You got to bring out the correct message. Well, it's about doctrine. All right. So the, the Bible was written for us to, to uh, you know, read it. And, you know, go out and carry that correct message throughout the earth. Teach the truth. Okay? Why you should be on fire. It says the vision is for, is for a future time. The vision is for a future time. It describes the end. And it will be fulfilled. It, if it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. For it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Right? So... It, 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 this time is coming. There is no hiding or, or, or running from it. Okay, it's Bible prophecy that these things are going to happen to happen in America, and worse, leading up into thermonuclear destruction. But right now we're watching this economy fail, just like Rome fell. Now here you are, America's falling. It says wealth is treacherous, and the arrogant are never at rest. They're, they open their mouths as wide as the grave, and like death, they are never satisfied. That's the elite. In their greed, they have gathered up many nations and swallowed many peoples. This is what Esau has done, okay? Uh, pushing out 
because the American dollar was the world reserve currency, but now the American dollar is failing. Okay, so they're going to put the whole world in the fucking, you know, everybody bills do. Like I said, my damn job, they, they, ain't, they ain't paid the damn light bill or some shit, man. It says, but soon their captives will taunt them. <laughs> they will mock them, saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves, right? Now you get what you deserve. You you become rich by extortion. But how much longer can this go on? Right. And this can't go on much longer, man. Okay, this can't go on much longer. Let me grab it in the um King KJ KJV. It says, Shall not all these take up a parable against thee and a taunting proverb against him, saying, Woe unto whom that increaseth that which is not his. That's what Esau in America has done. They have increased that which is not theirs. They got US embassies in every country. You know, they, they bit off more than they can chew. It says, to him that leadeth himself with thick clay. You have leading yourselves with thick clay, which this thick clay that's going to it. I believe the word is Abadia. Okay. Let me grab it. In the Hebrew. It's Abadia, but it says, um. Yeah, I don't know why it's not saying nothing, but it is um H five six seven one. I bet it. And then it says um weight of plagues, uh, or it's like a weight of pledge, uh, plagues, uh, pledges, heavy debts. So the point is debts, man. You know that's that that's that debt. America has laden itself with thick clay, which is that debt. Okay, and now it's tearing them up. It's tearing them up now, man. It says, Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shall be for booties unto them? These other nations are going to turn against America, man. Let's grab it in NLT. Suddenly your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take all you have while you stand trembling and helpless. This is coming to America. Okay, America's in great debt. He's, he's, he's going into that. Let, let, let's listen to us a little bit more. Prime. So all the businesses in Oakland are failing to the point where they're starting to strike. Is it, is it making sense now? Now, what is all that's going on? The government went $33 trillion in debt last week. It just crossed $33.1 trillion. That's they, 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 33, which is a Freemason number, a Freemasonic number, you know, it's a Jake next to me that work in my job. He Cuban, I believe niggas a Freemason man. He might be a fucking a sleeper agent working next to me, man. OK, but uh, he's a Freemason man. And he and he had on a damn oh one four call. I help out my shot right now. It's 1044 p.m. But um, he had on a damn Mickey Mouse shirt, which is some Freemason shit. OK, but um. Yeah, you know, that that's the, the American debt clock is just whining and going faster and faster and faster. Okay, this, it, 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 this, this crashing plane is catching momentum. They got $100 billion in debt added to our national debt, the quickest it's ever been. Mm. Yesterday, we had 11,000 people cross. You hear they got $100 billion in debt added to our national debt. The quickest it's ever been. Yesterday we had 11,000 people cross our border. It was the most that it ever crossed. Everything is quickening. Right. We're not able to handle this stuff anymore. All of the problems are quickening. It's getting worse. It's getting out of control. As they say in um, economics, at first slowly and then all of a sudden. We're entering... At first slowly and then all of a sudden. Look, that's what I titled this video. At first, slowly, then all of a sudden, that's what happens. This place is destroyed. Okay, I mean that's how destruction uh, hits. Okay, let me bring, let me go back here. Have a quick chapter two. First, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna make this too long. So lock you. Um, you know it says um. Uh, have a chapter two, verse eight in verse in KJV. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil you, because of men's blood. And for violence in the land of all of the city and of all them that dwell therein, right? So let's grab it um, in, uh, in in NLT. I'm gonna go to verse seven. 
Suddenly your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take you take all you have while you stand trembling and helpless. This is coming to America because you have plundered many nations. Now all the survivors will plunder you. Right. You bombed uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You uh, <laughs> um, you um, you look what you did to Iraq and, and Afghanistan. You know, uh, um, Libya, you know, a lot of these places were, you know, um, you know, flourishing to some, to, well, they were in a better predition, predicament than when America came, put it like that. Okay. And America came over there and made, made it wastelands. It says, and this is be beautiful in NLT, it says, because you have plundered many nations, now all, the, all, now all the survivors will plunder you. You committed murder throughout the countryside and filled the, ta the, the towns with violence. Ooh. What sorrow awaits you who bi build big houses with money gained dishonestly, right? And everything they got, they got through um, um, unrighteous dealings. So what sorrow awaits you who build big houses with money gained dishonestly? That house is going to fall. You believe your wealth will buy security. Putting your family's nest beyond the reach of danger, right? And that's what America has done. You know, it's put itself beyond the reach of the reach of danger, with the way it's been, you know, moving through the earth. For the very stones in the walls cry out against you, and the beams in the ceilings echo the complaint. Right? Everybody's, you know, upset with this damn devil. Scripture says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear through with the people mourn. And people are mourning right now. Okay? Every, everybody's going through it. What sorrow awaits you? What sorrow awaits you who built cities with money gained through murder and corruption? And America was, was built on murder and corruption. You know, enslaving, you know, robbing land from the natives and enslaving the, the, so, the so-called Negroes. Come on. Has not the Lord of Heaven's armies promised that the wealth of nations will turn to ashes? They they work so hard, but all in vain. For as the waters fill the sea, the earth will be filled with an awareness of the glory of the Lord Yehovah Shai, call Yehovah Shemal Shai. Okay, what sorrow awaits you, who make your neighbors drunk? You force your cup on them, which is the 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 cup of fornication or abomination you know roughly paraphrasing they're pushing that that their wicked lifestyles and, and, and their philosophies to the rest of the world it says you force your cup on them so that you can gloat over their shameful nakedness right oh look oh look at and that's what they did unto us too you know they, they put the drugs in our communities and and, and, and the alcohol and they tell you oh look, oh look these people are ghetto they're gangsters they're thugs they're killing each other but hey, we learned it from 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 from, from your nigga ass e. Can't even pay the bills now. You've been fucking taking all these loans out, and not paying the bills, nigga. The hell. It says, but soon it will be your your dis. But soon it will be your turn to be disgraced, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Soon it will be your turn to be disgraced. Come and come drink and be exposed. Drink from the cup of the Lord's judgment and all. Your glory will be turned to shame, right? So America was known as a great country, but its glory is going to be turned to shame, man. It's over for, for, for this place. And let's bring it back a little bit to what, what he was saying. In debt last week, out. it just crossed $33.1 trillion. That's, they, they, they got $100 billion in debt added to our national debt, the quickest it's ever been. Yesterday, we had 11,000 people cross our border. It was the most that it ever crossed. Speeding up. Everything is quickening. We're not able to handle this stuff anymore. All of the problems are quickening. It's getting worse. It's getting out of control. As they say in um, economics, at first slowly and then all of a sudden. We're entering into the all of a sudden. Right. That's why it's important for you to get your money in order, get your house in order, get your food, get your... Food, energy, medicine, and security. And listen, man, that's not 
bad advice, man. You know, you working, put in some extra hours if you got to, you know, get ready for the collapse, man. And, and you want to have something, some kind of cushion when this place collapses so that, you know, your family ain't fucking dead out starving or, you know, homeless when all this shit happens. Which, you know, it's all in the hands of the Lord. But um, you want to make sure that you, you know, you know, take the proper action. You know, you don't just roll over. You know, you're going to have to fight for a little bit. We're going to have to use these digital currencies. You know, all that stuff, man. So, you know, when, you know, hey, get ready for a bumpy road. Okay, don't be simple. Don't be naive walking into this thing thinking that, you you know, you can just, you know, blindly walk, you know, into this. Nah, you're going to have to have your how about you on your side all the way, you know. And the Lord will test you with certain things. So make sure that air, air, your house is in order, you know. You got a little, maybe if you got, if you got to put a little money to the side, stop buying dumb shit. Don't be buying them new Jordans. Don't be buying fucking you know, video games and, you know, stupid shit, man. Start putting money to the side so that when when this shit does hit, you know, it don't hit you as hard as it's going to hit everybody else. All right? Be, be, be a, 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 have some sense about yourself. You know, this shit is this shit is about to fall. It is about to collapse. But in that collapse, um, we're not supposed to collapse with it, <laughs> okay? And what's going to happen is when there's no food in these stores, you, they going to have your ass in that damn you know, in that damn line, and you don't want to be in that line, all right, so ultimately, you know, of, of course, put your trust in your help, I'm not saying I'm not going out, going out there and stock a bunch of food and water, but, you know, yeah, like, Elder Pastor, you know, has taught us, if you want to get a little extra, you know, grab, 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 grab a few extra cases of water, you know, put them in, put them in your house, just in case, you know, you know, they put another lockdown in you, you got to be in your house for a little bit, that way you ain't going crazy to go out and get water. You know, Scripture says a, a wise man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. So we, we can't be at no damn Walmart wrestling in the water aisle, you know, try, try, trying to get the last fucking pack of Zephyr Hills before motherfucker come across your head and with a crowbar and take it anyways. Like, that, 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 that's madness. So, so make sure that, 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 that your shit is in, is in order. Everything is on point, you know. The problems are quickening. It's getting to the best of your ability, bro. You know, we all live in paycheck by paycheck. But, you know, like I said, you know, it, it, a lot of things got, got to do with the way you, you live in. Try to live above your means. You know, you, know, you might have to let some, 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 some shit go. You know, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't going to be able to eat, you know, or go to the movies this week like you always do. Like, you know, y'all tradition is go to the movies and, nah, man. But a fucking that download a bootleg or something. Say, say, save some of your coins up, you know, and put it in, you know, stuff that you can, you know, keep, you know, non-perishables and stuff, you know, a little here, a little there, and be ready, because like I said, this is going to be a bumper of scripture that's through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven, all right? It's getting out of control. As they say in um, economics, at first slowly and then all of a sudden, yeah, we're slowly, entering into all the all of a sudden. That's why it's important for you to get your money in order, get your house in order, get your food, get your food, energy, medicine, and security, all that put together. Because mm -hmm. all of these different things are coming together. Mm -hmm. We're having huge deficits in the U.S. Treasurer is borrowing money at rates we've never seen before. $33 trillion in debt, $2 trillion in deficits. We have interest that we can barely pay for this twice the amount our national defense. There's no, there's no political situation that's going to fix this, folks. Mm. It's basically go no without. Who fuck is in office? Goofy. Niggas are like, oh, niggas for Trump. <laughs> okay, nigga, go, go be for Trump. You should have been for your whole shot. Okay, because Trump, ain't, Trump can't save nobody, bro. Trump can't save his dancer. They got Trump taking mug shots and shit. That nigga's going down. They all going down, man. Okay. Everything, or, or just get ready for it all to, to crap the bed and collapse. Right. China and Saudi Arabia are not buying our debt. The reason why they raise the interest rates is because they make that more palatable to foreigners to buy our debt because they know nobody else is buying it. Mm -hmm. Higher interest rate, more return. More return, better money. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon, though, everybody's going to dump us. Mm. Folks, please... Put your houses in order and get ready. I'm, I'm telling you, we're on the precipice of a major financial collapse. We are on a precipice of a major financial collapse. 
So don't be naive. Don't be simple, man. You know, make sure your shit is is intact. You know, and starts and, and it starts spiritually. Not you know as you no know, not. I ain't talking about just physically, man. But it starts spiritually, man. Make sure that you you know, in, in uh, in your right mind spiritually. You know, there's no distractions. Make sure that you're on point because the time you're coming into it's going to come all of a sudden. It says Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 14 in the NLT. And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world so that all the nations will hear. Because Israel has been scattered into all the nations. Will hear it and then sh and then the end will come. Right. So this word's been preached, man. OK, this word is out there. So now now we're seeing the end coming. This is Bible prophecy. We, we, we know what time it is. We've been the ones out here telling you what was coming. Okay? So then shall the word be preached unto all the world, and then shall the end come. It says, um, verse 12, And because of iniquity shall abound, love of many shall wax cold. People going to be out killing each other. It's going to be a dog and dog world. But he that shall endure until the end the same shall be saved right so you gotta we gotta endure through all this that's why i say hey make sure that you get your shit in order uh let me read it in nlt verse 12 sin will be rampant everywhere people gonna be sinning stealing killing raping robbing pillaging okay everywhere and the love of many will grow cold people ain't gonna care about you no more people ain't gonna care about the old lady you know trying to cross the road they're gonna come across her head and rob her in the middle of the road and then you know rob the car that stops in front of them you know take the car you know kill the people that they just you know all, all the type of shit gonna be going on man look at them purge movies it says but the one will who endures to the end will be saved so you gotta endure through all this you don't want to get caught up in this you want to endure through all this verse 22 and in, in fact unless that time of calamity is short the lord gotta speed up these times let me go up verse 21 for there will be great there will be greater anguish than at any time since the world began and it will be never so great again right it's time worse than ever before in fact unless that time of calamity is shortened not a single person will survive but it will be shortened for the sake of the oh, it, but it will be shortened but it will be shortened for the sake of God's chosen ones, right? It's going to be shortened for the elect's sake, man. Okay, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord speed up these times and prepare for a bumpy transition. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwam, Shirala, Ababa, Ball.